Well, just one day after Saturday's stabbings on the rail runner, the commuter train is back on track. Spencer Schott explains why it hasn't deterred some riders. Ren waits for their train at the downtown rail runner station. It's kind of fun riding it. He heard multiple passengers and a security guard were stabbed on the train the day before, but he says he still has to get where he's going. The biggest concern that I got is going back where the incident happened. And other than that, there's really no like fear, like going up and down. The train where passengers were stabbed was held at the Montano station for nearly eight hours before the rail runner finished its run up to Santa Fe. There may have to be some alterations in that service time wise, depending on how long the investigation takes, but we're hoping that's it's not too disruptive. The disruptions only lasted a day. Saturday's schedule was altered, but Sunday the rail runner went back to its normal schedule, hoping the passengers would come back. This is particularly unfortunate given the fact that we ha saw a 50% increase in our ridership in the last week and a half because exploding gas prices and, and warm weather and coming out of COVID. On an average weekday, the rail runner serves about 800 passengers, but last week their daily average went up to 1,200. Even with the stabbing on Saturday, rail runner officials say Sunday was a busier than average day, and they are thankful for their loyal customers. We're just grateful we had security on the train and, and that we have a good group of passengers that banded together and you know did the right thing. In Albuquerque, Spencer Schott, KOB4.